I'm old. All right. But I'm not dead yet. where I get air time and I don't have to worry about the lady. I get at least one second, two, I'm convinced wings give me another piece of another second. The wind, give me another piece of another second. I get some air time. I was sitting in this little bar, having a drink, and this young man that I met, he just had that kind of energy. He just looked at me, and, and I looked at him, and gave him a hug, and having a drink, and he said, we're gonna bungee jump. I said, you're kidding me, that's on my bucket list. And so, I followed him. And <laughs> And waited till I caught somebody kind of off on the side and went up and, you know, kind of did a, a pleading, you know, Oliver Twist thing. It was like, you know, I don't have any equipment of my own, but, you know, if you would let me rent, beg, borrow, don't have a lot of money either, but I'd, I just, I would so love to, and he said, okay. <laughs> and at the time of my life, I think that healed me a lot too, because like that really will get your heart soaring again. Five, four, three, two, one. You know, there's so much. There's so much out here. You can fly. Kind of spread your wings and fly. That's where me and Kim uh, came, came to walk. You know, he, could, he could run forever out here and just be totally, totally happy. And I could watch him do it and be totally, totally happy. Kimo was my was my my furry angel that found me, and he just he saved me. That boy saved me. So eleven years were together. He was uh, muscular dystrophy trained, so he's always like three feet away from me. You know that dog has been beside me his whole life. You know your your animals. It's for, for some folks those are like your kids. And then he died November twenty second of diabetes. It, Florida Savings County are running up north trying to get, you know, back and forth, trying to get under control. I'm very fortunate that, that I'd retired um, in June of last year, so we got to spend... Well, we got to spend his last time doing quality time, you know, and that's, that's hugely important to me. So, Left my wrinkled old keister here. I didn't have anybody else, you know. Nobody else I was responsible for, and all my bills were paid. Didn't owe anybody any money. It's like, okay. So I just moved me off into the remote and said, oh, whatever. But I kind of landed in a magical community. It's, it's a special place. Come through here, you're going to feel it. Chitna's sits on the Copper River. We are northeast of Anchorage, about 200 and some miles, 225, 30 miles, something like that. Year round is like 60 people, 60 to 70, and about 20 of them are children. A winter will turn us all into a tight family, but all families are dysfunctional. So I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> People scrape by here, they do what they can, 
I always love that saying, we don't live here to make money, we make money so we can live here. So nobody's really rich here. They want to live here. It's a really beautiful, quiet place. It's not like any place else. When it's 40 below, nobody cares if you're a Democrat or Republican. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. Are you doing okay? Do you need anything? Uncle Tom's Tavern, this is the heartbeat. As far as I can tell, this is the heartbeat of the town. Uh, it's not just it's not just alcohol. <laughs> we have a, a, a local band and so we get to hear them about uh, uh, usually once a week. I like music. That feeds my soul. I think I probably danced up Bourbon Street the first time when I was about five years old. Most of my years were tortured. I either lived hand to mouth or I worked so hard burning the candle at both ends. And But I started coming here and met really, really, really magically beautiful beings. And it really started shifting and, and healing my insides. And heal them enough, love starts blossoming again, you know. And coming across people at my stage of the game and my age of life, that's important. Give me a squeeze first. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. These, these are people I'm closing out my chapters with. I think, you know, that's, that's pretty darn important. Before you go, we want to know what you're thinking. Do you have new episode ideas you want to share with us? Want to help pick out what new shows we should make? Now's your chance to tell us. Take the PBS Digital Studios audience survey and leave us your feedback. It'll only take a few minutes, but it's extremely valuable to us. There's a link in the description. Thanks in advance.